गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अ ब्लॉक सो लेट जी बी ए कनेक्टेड ग्राफ वी से दैट दिस ग्राफ इज सेपरेबल इफ इट हैज एटलीस्ट वन कट वर्टेक्स इट मीन्स दैट द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ कट वर्टेक्स मस्ट बी देयर टू हैव द ग्राफ टू बी सेपरेबल अदरवाइज वील से द ग्राफ इज नॉन सेपरेबल a maximal non separable connected subgraph is called a block so non separable it means a subgraph which is which do not have a cut vertex and maximal which means it should not be contained in a subgraph which is non separable and connected let's see an example so if you see this example then it has four blocks let's consider b1 so this is a block because it is non separable it is connected it does not have a cut vertex if we remove the concept of maximality then someone can claim that 1 3 4 4 can also be a block and in that case each edge itself would form a block which does not make any sense so therefore we have to consider the case of the maximality so u is a cut vertex and you can see that block b1 and block b2 are connected through this cut vertex similarly b2 and b3 are connected through this cut vertex even b4 also so this is how we can compute the blocks in a given connected graph let's do an exercise so compute the number of the blocks in the given graph please do try it by yourself and then we can discuss it so this is the first block i can call it one this is the second one so, so you just need to identify the cut vertices and then it's very easy to find the blocks so the second one then third one this is fourth one this is fifth one six Seven, then eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So clearly, there are thirteen blocks in the given graph. Moving further, let's see some interesting remarks. So the first one says that. a graph is separable if and only if vertex connectivity is equal to 1 so recall the concept of the vertex connectivity so the largest k for which the graph is k connected so if the graph is too connected it means that it does not have a cut vertex and therefore we need the vertex connectivity to be 1 if it is greater than 1 then the graph for sure is non separable so two connected three connected graph do not have a cut vertex one more observation is that if b1 and b2 are two blocks in a graph then their intersection is either empty or they are connected through a cut vertex so you can see that if this is first block second block then they are sharing a vertex or they can be disjoint for example block 1 and 3 have nothing in common next is block cut point graph so to draw the block cut point graph we consider all the blocks represent them by vertices and we also consider the cut vertices and if two blocks share a cut vertex then we connect them through edges where the intersection point is the required cut vertex let's see it's very easy to see so now you can see that four blocks are there b1 b2 b3 and b4 you represent them by vertex now b1 and b2 they are connected through vertex u yes so you can mark it as u then you can call this one as v then b2 and b3 they are 
sharing this one v and also b4 so this is the required block cut point graph very easy to draw yes so it can be visible here so this is an exercise which you can try by yourself so first identify the number of the blocks in the graph and once you identify the blocks then you need to draw its block cut point graph let me show you the answer but first try it by yourself so for this graph there are seven blocks even first you can identify the cut vertex two then seven then eight and then ten four cut vertices are there and then there are seven blocks and this is how the block cut point graph looks like it is always a tree okay so that's all from today's class we will start a new chapter in the next class thank you